at last. I must say I'm disappointed in your progress. I imagined you'd be here sooner. Tell me, did it trouble you to murder your brothers? Did it Where am I? is the usual question. In your case, when might be more apt? Very well, you old snake. If you'd prefer I use my bare hands. Well, this is completely unexpected. This orb disables our vampire enemies, leaving them helpless and incapacitated. Strangely, it seems to have the same effect on that peculiar weapon of yours. But you must believe me. I mean you no harm. You can drop the benevolent facade, Mobius. I know who and what you are. I should kill you where you stand. <laughs> Perhaps you should, my boy. But you don't. Are you so certain of that, Mobius? My role as Time Guardian affords me a certain level of omniscience, Raziel. No, you don't kill me. That honor belongs to your maker, Cain, some 30 years from now. Ah, you two are a pair. You're just as fatalistic as he is. Death comes for us all, Raziel. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. How is it that you know my name? We have never met. On the contrary, Razier, I know you very well. And it grieves me to see how cruelly Cain has used you. I knew you when you were one of the Seraphan Brotherhood, Raziel. We were even close. Oh, please. Fortunately, you need not love me now to be my ally. Are we within the stronghold of the Seraphan Priesthood? Yes. But the glorious days of the Seraphim have long since passed, I'm afraid. This is a more cynical and indecorous age. My mercenary army now inhabits this stronghold. We strive to honor the memory of the Seraphim with our own humble crusade. Is this the Vampire Vorador? Yes, the scourge of the circle, the most depraved and decadent example of this whole degenerate race. He slaughtered six of my fellow guardians as they cowered defenseless in this room. And you somehow survived this massacre? I and two others. The circle was devastated. Only we three were spared. How convenient. You'll forgive me if I don't naively devour every scrap of information you toss me. You have a reputation for deceit. And who has slandered me, sir? Your malefactor, Cain? The one who betrayed and destroyed you? Our common enemy? Consider the source before you judge me too harshly. We'll forget about rekindling our old friendship then. But consider an alliance based on our common ground. We both want Cain dead. I can help you do it. You don't want to meddle in this, old man. I know all about your sordid little schemes, but you're simply out of your depth on this one. You underestimate me, Raziel. Let me show you. Even now, Cain is lying in wait for you, unaware that I've snatched you out of the time stream and brought you here to me. See how he lingers at the very pillars he is destined to destroy. Foolishly confident that he has eluded your grasp. The pillars are still standing in this time. Yes, Raziel. They are the embodiment of the divine force which preserves the life of our world. We who serve the pillars maintain their delicate balance, and Cain is destined to be the fulcrum upon which that balance turns. I believe you have already endured the wasteland wrought by his terrible, selfish decision. Cain's very existence is a cancer upon this world. As long as he lives, all of Nosgoth is in peril. You may never again be human, Raziel. 
but you can re-embrace the essence of your humanity and the nobility of your Seraphim heritage. Go to him, Raziel, and end this. But first, you will need to find your way out of the stronghold, and in this, I'm afraid I cannot help you. My soldiers will not understand your appearance here. They will try to kill you. You needn't fear them, of course. They're no match for you. I try to keep the casualties to a minimum. But do what you have to do. All great movements require a few martyrs. Alone now, I surveyed my surroundings and noticed a second time-streaming chamber, its entrance identical to the first, but with one distinction. That crystal was significant, but how, I had not yet discovered. Throughout the stronghold, I discovered evidence of my former nobility and my life as a Saraphan priest. This was the heritage so foully stolen from me when Cain raided my sacred crypt and defiled me. From the influence of Mobius's cursed staff, I could feel the strength of the Soul Reaver slowly returning. If that orb was as debilitating to vampires as it was to the blade, it gave Mobius a powerful advantage over his enemies. I finally understood how Mobius's crusade could decimate the vampires so successfully. If he could immobilize his enemies, they were at his mercy. But why, I wondered. The staff have any effect on the Reaver? Die, fiend! As I neared the stronghold's inner sanctum, a strange sensation crept over me. An indescribable feeling of displacement, a sense of vertigo, 
as reality itself appeared to warp and bend around me. The disturbance seemed to emanate from the sanctuary's furthest chapel. As I cautiously approached, the sense of dislocation intensified with each step. So this was the tomb of the beloved King William the Just, beatified here as the martyr and catalyst of Mobius' crusade. I was reminded of Cain's journey as a fledgling vampire, how Mobius coerced him to travel back in history and assassinate William, thus igniting a genocidal hatred of vampires among the citizens of Nosgoth. And here I discovered the source of the displacement, the Soul Reaver itself, laid out like a holy relic, and broken, apparently in the battle between William and Cain. I had not thought such a thing was possible, until, of course, Cain shattered the blade against me when he tried to strike me down. Thus, the captive spirit inhabiting the Reaver was released, and binding itself to me, became my symbiotic weapon. And so the Reaver met its former self, still imprisoned in this corporeal shell. I watched, mesmerized, as the Wraith Blade uncoiled itself and snaked down the length of the physical blade. Embracing its twin, its mirror self, the Reaver's long dormant spirit was now fully aroused. And for the first time, I felt the true presence of this other entity, willful, ravenous, and deranged from thousands of years of imprisonment. The Reaver was now in command, and I, now merely its helpless host, felt my soul being leeched to restore the blade. But the Reaver knew better than to destroy its host, and just as I neared the brink of oblivion, the blade released its hold on me. As I recovered, I realized we were now bound together in a fragile alliance. The Reaver no longer merely my symbiotic weapon, but a sentient parasite competing for control. What have you done to me, Mobius? Is this your trap? How mine? Don't forget it was Cain who led you here, not I. While you curse me, the only soul in Nosgoth ready to guide and assist you, Cain laughs at our folly and revels in your dismay. These blades, now coiled in sinister embrace, have inspired terror in the hearts of creatures far more durable than you, old man. Bound together as they are, I can only imagine what they could do to your soul's fragile shell. Raziel, I beg you to stay your hand. This was none of my doing. I have sought only to aid you in your righteous quest. Why, you're trembling, Mobius. Has your confidence abandoned you? You seem to have made a fatal error by leaving your precious staff behind. Is that where all your courage comes from? Listen to me, Raziel. You don't know what you're doing. I have taken an enormous risk by appearing here before you, so defenseless, yet eager to prove my good intentions. If there's anything left of the Seraphim in you, you won't do this. While you threaten me, your true enemy eludes you. Don't concern yourself with Cain, old man. He'll join you in hell soon enough. As you said, death comes for us all. Yes, the wheel of fate demands it. What did you say? The wheel of fate, the inexorable cycle of death and rebirth to which all men are compelled. We serve the same God, Raziel. To strike me down would be striking God's own attendant. And I don't believe even you would take that risk. I tire of your games, Mobius. Now that I know you fear me, I needn't concern myself with you. Cain is waiting for me. Go then, Raziel. Seek Cain out and destroy him in the name of the one god we both serve. You, who were once a seraphim priest, murdered, profaned, destroyed, and reborn again from his mercy. 
You are now most powerfully equipped to be his agent. His instrument of restoration and retribution. My own vengeance is motivation enough. By my soul, you almost had me, my little blue assassin. But that'll be the one and only chance you get. I assure you of that. I could now summon the blade at will, regardless of my strength. But once summoned, the blade's ravenous appetite could not be contained. It devoured the souls of its victims. And if I allowed it to become over-aroused, the Reaver would now turn its hunger on me.